government has requested to increase its expenditure by 2.1% through a supplementary budget amounting to 216 billion shillings. Presenting the breakdown for approval to Parliament, the Minister of State for Finance, Fred March, said 92 billion shillings is required to cater for shortfalls in the operational budget for State House. 17 billion shillings will cover classified expenditure for external security organization. 11 billion shillings will be additional funding to meet institutional contractual obligations in the Uganda police, while 12 billion shillings will go to the Foreign Affairs Ministry to cater for outstanding contributions to international bodies. In the supplementary budget, the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Cooperative will receive 4.8 billion shillings. The Ministry of Justice and Constitutional Affairs will receive 27 billion shillings for the heritage case in London. 11 billion shillings will go to the Ministry of Water and Environment to construct Kanyampanga Gravity Water Scheme in Kanungu District, while 16.7 billion shillings will go to Makere University as payment for outstanding staff pensions. Mbara University of Science and Technology will get 0 0.090 billion shillings. The Antone District will get 0 0.2 billion shillings as payment for medical bills of the late Faustin Nkunda, the former district vice chairperson. While the Parliamentary Commission will receive 28 billion shillings to cater for the non wage shortfall. And lastly, 42 local governments will get about 3 billion shillings to cater for shortfalls in universal secondary education. Our duty as members of parliament, in my opinion, is to facilitate the president to work. In a number of sectors, like State House, uh, Foreign Affairs, uh, ex External Security Organization, uh, Justice, and Makere University. So these are very important activities. Uh, which must go on up to the end of the financial year. Otherwise, without the money, they will come to a standstill. However, some members of parliament were concerned that government had not allocated money to the Ministry of Health to help in efforts to fight nodding syndrome in northern Uganda. Now, this committee, I would recommend Mr. Chairman, should allow the, this team to live until they can come with something substantial the 3.8 billion of the nodding disease. We should not even accommodate them even for two minutes. <laughs> Some action has already been initiated and taken by the Minister of Finance by asking the Minister of Health to reallocate within its budget uh, so that it can cater for the initial amount required to tackle the nodding disease. It is envisaged that these expenditure pressures will be funded mainly through enhanced revenue collection efforts by Uganda Revenue Authority and budget reallocations. Michael Baleke, NTV.